One of the common exercises that I use for hip strength is a side leg lift. Um, with side leg lifts, they can be done very wrong and they can be done very well. Um, first, when you lay on your side for a side leg lift, your head position is very important. If you have a roll or a pillow or something that you can have nearby to hold your head, that would be great. Or if you don't have one available, you can bend your arm and hold it in your hold your head into a good position with your arm. The only thing to make sure of is that your shoulders are stacked and you don't end up two sideways. So once your shoulders are stacked, your head is in a good position, you're going to stack your hips up as well. And with this exercise, you're going to keep the bottom leg bent and you're going to straighten the top leg. As you get really good at this one, you may be able to graduate into a straight leg as your base leg, but in the beginning, I prefer keeping this bottom leg bent so that you don't you have a wider base to keep your balance on and you're less likely to use your lower back muscles to hold you steady. Um, once you have your hips stacked, your shoulders stacked, and you've engaged your abdominals, your thoracic region, and your spinal and your cervical spine, you're going to lift and lower your leg. When you're doing leg lifts, what you do not want to see is the pelvis rotate up and lift because that is hinging on the lower back and creating a bend that we don't want to have happen. We're looking for you to lengthen your leg long as you lift it rather than tipping the pelvis to give you the fake exercise. When you do this exercise, you can, it needs to be an on-off action. Many times when doing this, as you get tired, you'll stiffen up and you'll start trying to do the movement with a stiff leg. I'm always looking for fluidity. I'm looking for the, the groin to open and release to come up and I'm looking for the hip to release to come down. So it's on, off, and everything is isolated to the glute. Good. When you're finished with this exercise, slightly bend your leg, let your leg rest down, and rub out the area that you just worked. You should feel it below the hip bone, into the glute, along the side of your thigh, but you should not feel it in your low back. If you did feel it in your low back, you can try by changing your cues a little bit in another set, but limit it to two or three, and if you cannot do it without it going to your low back, discontinue until you talk to a professional that might be able to help guide you a little bit better.